A vote plan for today could change the dress code for students in the Detroit Public Schools Community District and lay out new ways to deal with student violence. The proposal was put together with feedback from students, teachers, parents, and administrators. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson's live in Southwest Detroit. And Jen, what do these proposed changes really entail? Well, some of them will actually give students more freedom. For example, in this new proposal, students would be allowed by the dress code to wear shorts. That's something the dress code didn't allow them to do previously. So that's really good news, especially on those hot days at the beginning of the school year and at the end. But some of these changes would actually make things stricter, really increase the disciplinary, disciplinary measures that teachers and principals can enact and make things uniform. Clear expectations and implementation of a demerit system of points that would address repetitive negative behavior. That's one of the things they'd like to implement. Also, when it comes to students that are fighting, they want to give teachers the ability to remove students from their class and even give a referral to the hearing office after three fights. That way a student can be placed in an alternate school. Again, these were things that weren't happening before and detention would be removed. It would be replaced instead with in school suspension. They said not all of the schools have the same staff and same capabilities to carry out detention. So part of the goal here is to have uniformity throughout the school district and give teachers and principals and people at the school ways to help these kids, but also enforce the disciplinary measures that are actually in that handbook. And the school board is expected to vote on this tonight. So we'll continue to follow this for you. Reporting live here in Detroit, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Yeah.